games, but there were no obvious protests aimed at Guillen. Marlins 5-6, and six, but they sit dead last in the NL East. They moved to 500 with Guillen in the dugout after going 2-3 and three while he was on suspension. We told you about Ramirez. He's already got three homers this season. Dodgers have never started 10-1 and one since they moved to Los Angeles. They could get there Tuesday with a win over the Brewers. Matt Kemp going great for them so far. Second inning, one out, hitting off on Chad Billingsley. That was going 410 feet. Billingsley, five hits, two runs, six Ks, and six innings work. Brewers up 1-0. Bottom seven, runners at the corners, 2-2 game. Norichika Aoki at the plate. Squeeze it. Here comes Gamble from third, perfectly executed by Milwaukee, and the Brewers up 3-2. So we go to the eighth now, same score. Man on and two out for Andre Ethier. That's off Francisco Rodriguez, and it's not coming back. Would have looked great in 3-D. Ethier's fourth home run of the season. Dodgers up 4-3. Bottom nine now, same score, two on, one out. Javi Guerra trying to shut it down, but George Kataris has got that look in his eye, and that's going to be trouble. Carlos Gomez coming in to score. Gamble's going to try to make it home. Mark Ellis' throw coming home, but Gamble's in there, and it is time to bounce in Milwaukee. Good throw, but A.J. Ellis can't apply the tag. Brewers walk off and win at 5 4 to snap a four game skid as Guerra blows the save. Quality start for Giovanni Gallardo. Despite insisting that this hit was not intentional, Chicago's Andrew Shaw suspended three games Tuesday for taking down Phoenix goalie Mike Smith. It's the latest in a cup playoffs that's raised the bar on bad behavior.